I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to day five of Vlogmas. Today we have errands on errands on errands to run. I'm going like so many different stores. I have to go to Kroger, I have to go to Walmart, I have to go to another Kroger, I have to go to Save A Lot, I have to go to Boost Mobile. Is that all? I feel like that's all, but that's a lot of places to go and it's going to be insanely busy because of the holidays so i am gonna have to travel out of town today to go to most of those stores but before i leave my town i need to go to kroger i need to go to walmart i need to go to dollar tree and i need to go to save a lot so i have four places to go in my town before i leave and then once i leave my town and go on a little road trip to another town <laughs> I have to go to Kroger to get my booster vaccine today. Moderna gang, baby. I'm so excited. Literally the second they opened up boosters, I was like, Deep. let me schedule that and go ahead and get triple vaxxed, baby. Let's do this shit. And then I also have to go to Boost Mobile because that's the phone service I have. And basically, I guess they're getting a new network. And so I had to get a new SIM card to be able to join the new network because the old network is shutting down. And if I don't um, activate my SIM card and get a new one, I will not have phone service anymore. I literally have like a week until the old system shuts down and I won't have service. So I'm gonna go today, get that taken care of because I'm gonna be in the town where there's a Boost Mobile anyway. Like I said, I live in a small town. We don't have a Boost Mobile and we don't have like some of the stores that we need. So I just wanna try and get everything done before I leave town. I just wanna be able to get my vaccine and then come home. I don't wanna have to go to like 50 different stores and stuff like that. So I'm, I woke up early today and I'm trying to get everything done. I'm gonna take you guys along the journey. I'm getting some gingerbread houses and some candy because tomorrow my husband and I and his brother are all going to make gingerbread houses and I have a whole rainbow vision in my head so we have to to go get candy and everything like that for the gingerbread houses. It is currently 8 a.m. and I am ready to leave the house and get on the road. My appointment for my vaccine is at 11 and it's about 30 minutes away from my home. So I have to leave town at 10.30 to arrive at my vaccination appointment at 11. I have two and a half hours to run in town and do all the things I need to do. So let's go ahead and get in the car, shall we? Okay, we are in the car, got the heat blazing because it is 30 degrees outside and the wind chill makes it feel like 20 something and the wind is like 40 miles per hour today so I have to have the heat on in here so our first stop is going to be Kroger I have groceries that I have to get and then after that we will be going to Walmart so those two stores are already open but save a lot and Dollar Tree don't open till 9 a.m. and it's currently 8 11 a.m. so I need to go to those two stores first get those things and then we can head over to Dollar Tree and save a lot okay back in the car from Kroger it was a successful trip I got all the groceries and everything I needed oh man do you ever just wonder like when will life get easier because I'm 27 and it's not gotten easier yet. So <laughs> can't wait for the day. That's probably never gonna come, but hopefully it does. Okay, now we're headed to Walmart and I'm definitely gonna take you guys inside. Walmart's like super strict about filming, but I don't give a fuck what they got to hide. I'll be sneaky with it, all right? And you guys are gonna come and we're gonna go get gingerbread houses. All I need in Walmart is gingerbread houses and I might take a peek at the Christmas movies they have. Christmas movies, gingerbread houses, and then we can go to the two other stores because now it's 8.39. So the other two stores will be opening here in 20 minutes. So by the time I get done in Walmart, it should be perfect timing to head to the other two stores and then we can make our way to my vaccine appointment. So let's go to Walmart.
Okay, that was actually a score. I got so many good things. I only thought they had two different types of gingerbread houses because my Walmart is not very good. It's like the worst Walmart I've ever been to. But I went down one of the Christmas aisles and they had so many more selections. So I actually had a hard time deciding, but I got the Hershey one for my brother-in-law. I'm getting my husband an Oreo one that they have at Save A Lot. And then I got the one that has eight mini houses because I wanted to do like a rainbow theme. So like have six different houses, one red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm planning on doing. So they had a kit that had eight houses, which is plenty to do what I wanted to do. And then I got those two little gingerbread men that looked like they were fighting. So that was really exciting. I also got three new Christmas movies that I have on my list of Christmas movies that I want to own. I'll give you like a full haul later when I get home. But but for now, we are going to head to the last two locations we need to go to before we leave town to go get my vaccine. It's 9.01, so both of those stores just opened and I'm gonna head there now. So by the time I get there, it'll probably be like 9.05 or 9.10. So they would have been open for a few minutes. So let's head to Save-A-Lot and head on over to Dollar Tree, baby, yeah. Okay, so I just got done at Dollar Tree and Save A Lot. I didn't record and Save A Lot because I only grabbed like two things. But Dollar Tree, I had so much going on. I literally got so much candy, like way, 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 way too much candy. But I wanted to make sure I had enough and we wouldn't run out. I did forget icing though. I needed to get icing and I totally forgot just to have extra for the gingerbread houses but I do have to go to Kroger in an hour to get my vaccine so I guess while I'm there I'll just pick up some icing so now we are done with everything in town and I'm gonna head home bring everything inside which is probably gonna take me like 30 minutes to bring everything inside because I got so much stuff and then I'll give you like a haul once I get inside to show you everything I got I'm really excited about making those houses tomorrow I'm home, I put away all the groceries, which took forever. Normally I do this with my husband. I don't have to do it by myself, but it took me probably like six trips to the car and back to bring in everything I purchased today. And it was heavy, but that's okay. I did it, I got a little workout in. So now I'm gonna show you everything I bought for the gingerbread houses and listen, I don't wanna hear it. I already know I got way too much stuff. I did not need this much candy to decorate these houses but I just wanted to make sure I had enough. With that being said, don't judge me. Let me show you what I got. Okay, so here's all the candy and stuff. Let's start with the gingerbread houses. This is my kit that I got. It has eight different smaller gingerbread houses. It comes with everything you need, apparently. So it comes with some candy and some icing. Then I got these two little action figures. I thought they were cute. This is a ninja bread gingerbread cookie kit. What is this? Oh, hell no. This says kit includes gingerbread cookie mix, royal icing mix, candy beads, piping bag, and four ninja cookie cutters. I have to make these myself? Okay, well I probably won't be doing that tomorrow. Maybe I'll do that in a different video in the future, but I thought they were just action figures and I could put them out in the yard playing around all the different houses. Like they're the neighborhood kids fighting in the yard with all the houses, but I have to bake them. So um, we'll be doing that a different day. Then I got this Hershey gingerbread house for my brother-in-law who's gonna come over and make gingerbread houses with us. And then my husband really wanted this Oreo one. So he got that one and then I got that one for Adam. And then let's move on to the candy. So I figured they would probably want to use like sweet candy and I wanted to use sour candy on mine so I kind of divided it up here are the items I got for their gingerbread houses Mimi thinks everything is his just walk all over everything I'm so sorry my master you rule the house so I got mini M&Ms Hershey kisses that are cookie and cream regular Hershey bars mr. good bars mini chips ahoy mini Oreos 
regular size Oreos, cookies and cream Hershey bar, Reese PCs, and M&Ms. And then I also got them these um, holiday Andes candy bars. And then I got a couple Christmas themed things like these carnival pops and some Christmas colored M&Ms. And then I got some gumdrops, some sour belts, Skittles, um, and different flavors, Sour Patch Kids and all the flavors they had, gumballs, and some Twizzlers. And then I also got lots of different candy canes. I got these ones because they were kind of rainbow. I got the classics, and then I also got the rainbow Skittles. So here is all the candy I got, and then obviously at Walmart I got this movie, this movie, and this movie. I have a Christmas list full of movies that I want, and so anytime I see them, I'm just gonna pick them up, and these were very affordable. One of them was $5, and then that one was 10, and that one was 10, so it wasn't very much money. 25 bucks for three movies, I feel like that's a pretty good deal. So here is everything we got for the gingerbread houses. It is currently 10 o'clock, so I have 30 minutes to kill before I need to get on the road and go to my vaccine appointment. So I gotta go get vaccinated, and then I also have to uh, get some icing while I'm at Kroger because that's the one thing I didn't get is extra icing and I feel like we're probably gonna need it because every time I've done this before there has not been enough icing to hold everything together so I have to do that I also got this foam board so that way I can put all my houses on that like it's you know the base for all my different houses so that way they're all on one platform and Mimi wants to go outside very badly he keeps yelling at me why are you yelling you want to go outside Mimi, but you were just outside, honey. He's super smart. He, when we had, at my old house, we had um, doorknobs that like went down like this instead of like an actual knob. And he would get up there and like move the thing down. Like he could almost open the door by himself. He was just outside, which is why he's crying. But it's like literally so cold out there. It's like 30 degrees and the wind is like really, really strong. So I only let them out while I was bringing in the groceries. So I'm gonna put all of this stuff away and then um, get ready to go to my vaccine appointment. Okay, in the car and we are now leaving to go get my booster shot. It is 1024, my appointment is at 11 and it takes 30 minutes to get there. So let's head on the road. I have arrived at the Kroger and I am about five minutes early so I'm gonna go ahead and check in and sign paperwork and everything like that. I'm gonna try and record the vaccination process on my phone camera. I just want to try and be inconspicuous and I don't want people staring at me so I'm not gonna be bringing in my vlogging camera but I will definitely try to get some footage of me getting um, the booster on my phone. So wish me luck, hopefully I get something good for you guys. No, it's okay. Okay, and you're here for the booster, yeah. correct? Mm -hmm. Can I just verify your name and date of birth? All right. Did you have any questions no. before we get started? No. Okay, which arm did you want this done? Left. Well, I'll try my best not to mess up the tab. <laughs> <laughs> you're okay. Last time they stabbed her in the eye, I laughed about it. I was like, oh, oh they stabbed, the, stabbed her in the eye? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little messed up. Yeah, I was brother. like a little brutal. <laughs> well, yeah. I guess maybe she'll have a little, maybe a small amount of acne up top. <laughs> just a very tiny one. <clears throat> okay. I'm just happy to have it. Okay, just for that. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. Oops. Can you hold on that? Please? Yeah. And that just looks like she might have gotten hit in the head. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, hopefully I got some good footage for you. I had to wait quite a while to get the booster shot, but that's okay, I don't mind. I had to wait probably like 10 minutes um, until the pharmacist came out and gave me the vaccination. But, okay, let me tell you guys. I had the first dose, the second dose, so this is my booster. The first two times did not hurt at all. I literally didn't even feel it and like I never I didn't bleed or anything it was totally fine like they didn't even give me a band-aid the first time because I wasn't even bleeding this time bitch that shit hurt so fucking bad like I'm not trying to scare you guys like if you want to get vaccinated get vaccinated I, I highly encourage it but 
dude for some reason i'm pretty sure it was the pharmacist who did it this time the the first two times i got vaccinated like everybody was trying to get it and so they had just like lines of chairs it was like i don't know how to it was like herds of people and it was just like one person then go then one person then go it was just like so many people getting vaccinated because it had just like got approved and like people were just able to start getting it so like there were so many people and there were so many chairs lined up um when i got the first and second vaccine and like this time it was totally different there was like no chairs lined up because the vaccine has now been around for almost a year so like most people if they want the vaccine they would have already gotten it but so this time they didn't have like lines of chairs set up and it was not busy there was no one else there getting vaccinated and so i was like went in a different area than i went before it was a different guy who did it this time um he was young and i feel like he was nervous i could see like he was shaking so i don't know if he like hasn't vaccinated people before or he's not very familiar with doing it but I feel like that's why it hurt so bad. He literally, if you hear the video, he was like, oh, can you hold this? You're bleeding quite a bit. So I had to hold the cotton. And then when I pulled it off, I bled a lot for a little tiny pinprick. Like, uh, dude, that shit hurt. Like, I'm, I mean, I'm so grateful it's over. I got my booster, so I'll be good for the Billie Eilish concert. And if I keep, need to keep getting boosters, I will. I mean, it's a small price to pay for feeling more secure. Like I go to the gym every day where people are sweating and nobody wipes off their machine, I feel like, except for me. So yeah, it's just having that peace of mind that like, I got my booster, definitely worth it. But damn, that shit <laughs> hurt for some reason. So now that that's done and that's over with, uh, I have to go to Boost Mobile real quick so that way I don't lose service on my phone. So I'm just gonna head over to Boost Mobile real quick and then um, I'll be done and I'll be done for the day and I can just go home and relax and just hang out. I will update you guys tomorrow about um, the vaccine in my arm and if it hurts and stuff like that. So let's head to Boost Mobile. Okay, just got done in Boost Mobile, got my new SIM card set up, and everything's good to go. So now I'm on the new network and I don't have to worry about losing service. So now I'm just going to head home. We're done with our errands for the day. My arm is hurting. So I'm just gonna head back home and maybe grab a bite to eat and I will see you when I get back home. I'm home now and I just got my pajamas on. Um, my arm hurts and I think I'm just gonna take the rest of the day hang out at home, watch some movies, color in my coloring book, and just chill. I like to go to the gym every day, but I think I'm gonna skip the gym today just because my arm hurts, and I know it's probably gonna hurt later, even more than it hurts now. So that means it's time to do the advent calendar countdown, baby. Here we go. So let's count down. We are on day number five, and we have a little candy cane. So cute. So we're gonna go ahead and put the candy cane up there in day five of vlogmas that's a wrap so make sure to tune in tomorrow we are going to build gingerbread houses i'm gonna have a gingerbread village it's gonna be a lot of fun we're just gonna hang out and chill and make gingerbread houses that is all for today. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.